going on y'all welcome back to the Ming and Moto show so I have kind of a dumb thought that I've thought about a lot or quite a few times in my life and someone's probably gonna say Minging, you're dumb as hell what the hell are you talking about that's not the reason why it's because of this and that and I'll get into all that in a minute have you ever noticed like a lot of the major freeway like here in my area the only freeway we got is the i-10 freeway right that goes east to west yeah east and west right which goes all the way from huntington beach california all the way down the i think jacksonville florida i think one of the longest consecutive freeways that doesn't change names or numbers right but i look at the freeway here and I'm like, you got all these curves and, and up and down and hill, hills and curves, right? And I'm like, if they would have just spent a couple extra minutes and really planned this out from one end of the valley to the complete opposite other end of the valley, they could, they'd have a straight shot all the way down. But the way they made it, they curved it around. A lot of different shit. They sucked it in into certain places where it shouldn't have been sucked in. And they pushed it out around shit that they would have went right past anyhow. If they would have just made it one straight long line, right? And I understand some of these hills, you're not, it's, you know, it would cost you so much money to level that shit out and make it flat. So that's not really, but the, the curve part honestly i think it's like was purposely done that way to cost us people that drive the freeway cost us more money in gas and wear and tear on our vehicles because it's like if you have a 20 mile stretch of road that's straight you're driving 20 miles as a bird flies now, if you start putting some curves and stuff in there, you know, you now have like a 25, maybe 27, 28, 30 mile stretch of road, which, okay, you think, oh, five miles difference or even a two mile difference. If you go 22 miles compared to 20 miles, that's not that big of a deal. But if you're traveling from state to state, one mile here one mile there that shit it starts adding up especially when you constantly drive two three hours back and forth to work every day or whatever right especially for like these semi-truck drivers that are constantly on the road for 27 out of the 30 days every month right that starts adding up a lot of freaking money in gas. That's also a lot of gas being burned for no reason or diesel even, right? That's also a lot more wear and tear on the car. That's a lot more maintenance and oil changes and all this type of stuff. It's a waste, right? Because, yeah, you recycle the oil, you recycle the oil filters and this part and that part and you can recycle all that shit. But it's like, at the end of the day, it's just a constant waste of money to have an extra 20% of your commute added just because the roads aren't completely like grid, you know, perfectly straight lines. I understand sometimes you have to, you, there's no way getting around it. Sometimes you, there's a big mountain there and the cheapest and easiest way to is go around it or you know instead of you know if the mountain comes out like this and it gets smaller you know you can kind of go around it and it would be cheaper instead of you know blowing up that section of the mountain and going straight through it i understand or building a tunnel through there sometimes that's understandable with some with some sense right but a lot of the time it's like straight line would have been way better and I know a lot of times people are like someone's gonna probably say 
it's only because it helps keep people awake so they can pay attention and not fall asleep when they're driving. And, okay, I can kind of understand that because there's been times where, like, I'd be driving and I'm like, fuck, I'm tired. But, you know, I don't think keeping my ass awake is me having to really pay attention to the curves, like, not driving off the road and shit, you know what I mean? Like, if I get tired enough when I'm driving, I'm going to pull over and sleep in the back in the back seat of my truck if I have to for half an hour or whatever. Most people are conscious enough to where if they're too tired to drive, they're not going to drive. And making the road curved and stuff is not going to solve the problem. But that's just I know it's a stupid idea, and I'm sorry, but I honestly think that it was kind of a purposely done that way you know because in reality the only people that benefit from that is the government because and the the oil companies gas companies because you're spending more money in gas and the government m makes more money in taxes and then auto repair shops because they make m money on maintenance and repair fees and then they also pay more taxes and the government wins again and you're basically putting extra miles on your vehicle that you don't need to put on your car. But, whatever. Fuck me in my life. It's just an idea. I have no proof of it. It's just a wild thought. And there's nothing behind that thought. And whatever. Deuces.